prices down, performance up. Welcome to our comparison video between the RS3M 2020 and the Qi MS 3x3. We picked these two cubes to compare because we think they are easily the two best magnetic economy cubes on the market right now. Both are under $10 on the cubicle and have been getting a lot of attention lately from beginners all the way to professional speed keepers. Let's start with the basics. The RS3M 2020 is made by Moyu. It retails for $8.99, weighs 86 grams, and measures 56 millimeters across. The texture is slightly frosted, but that smooths out after use. The magnet strength is on the lighter side. The MS 3x3 is made by Qi, retailing at $7.99. This cube weighs 82 grams and is also 56 millimeters across. The texture of the MS's plastic is smooth. The magnet strength is medium strong. As far as options go, the MS comes in black and stickerless. The RS3M 2020 only comes in stickerless, but has a dual adjustment feature that you can use to adjust elasticity. This was a feature usually reserved for fancy high-end puzzles, but Moyu did us a favor and included it with the RS3M 2020. Now, let's hear from two speed cubers in our office who main these puzzles. Hey, this is Phil. The Qi MS has been my main ever since its release. The two things I like most about the cube are its feel and its simplicity. The feel of the MS is quick and crispy with pretty liberal corner cutting and flexibility. I also like the smooth plastic a lot better. The cube is really easy to maneuver and the feedback is awesome when I turn. The other aspect, simplicity, is also another big reason I have so much respect for this cube. The springs, color scheme, and magnet strength are all perfect for me. All I did was adjust the stock tension a little to my liking. I lubed my MS with cubicle weight 4 and DNM 37, a very simple combination. Not having to adjust my cube very much and being able to just go and solve gives me a ton of peace of mind. It also really heightens my respect for Qi. It really shows the company's deep understanding of product design. Making something so likable with minimal setup is tough and I think Qi did an outstanding job. One complaint I do have about this cube would be its lack of stability, especially on the M slices. I get most of my lockups on the M-Slice algs if I'm trying to cut corners too aggressively. The lack of stability is a minor problem though. I'm generally a very careful turner and I get very good times on the Qi MS for myself. I highly recommend this model. Hey everyone, it's Damien. Firstly, I cannot get over how much I enjoy solving the RS3M. But, let's start with some potential negatives. It has lightly frosted plastic, and this seems to be a problem for some people. I personally don't think it affects my times. Now is it ideal? I'm not sure. It seems lazy from a manufacturer's perspective, but I don't really have an issue with it. Also, it wears off after prolonged use. Another possible downside of this 3x3 is magnet strength. It comes with very small 3x1mm magnets installed, which are honestly the weakest I've ever felt in a puzzle. They still serve their purpose of adding stability and turning accuracy, just to a lesser degree. I've remedied this problem on my personal RS3 by simply dropping some very small magnets in the edges. No glue, no worries about polarity, just drop them in. But other than those two small issues, this puzzle is absolutely perfect for me. The turning is fantastic and corner cutting is comparable to the best I've ever seen. We're talking line to line reverse and well over 45 forward. Even though this is a budget cube, everything about it screams premium. It doesn't have that cheap, thin plastic feel you get with some budget puzzles, and it even has a spring compression system. This is currently the cheapest puzzle available where you can get that feature. The plush, smooth feel of this cube actually has me practicing 3x3 again, and I'm excited every time I pick up the puzzle because I know it's going to be a good experience. And all of this can be yours for just $8.99, or you could save a dollar and get that unstable, locky, chi thing that Phil likes. Totally up to you. There are potentially many different reasons for preferring one cube over the other, so we thought of some points that can help make the decision easier. The first point is plastic texture. If you know you like frosted plastic, the RS3M 2020 will work great. If you prefer the classic smooth plastic, the Qi MS will be more compatible. The second point is magnet strength. The Qi MS has stronger stock magnet strength, so if you're into that, you may like it better. The RS3M 2020 can be magnetized to be stronger though. We like to use these little guys. Just put a pair of them into each edge piece and you're good to go. We'll have a link in the description for that. It's only a dollar. 
You really can't make the MS magnet weaker without a lot of trouble, so the RS3M 2020 is considered more flexible in the magnet strength department. Third, if you like adjusting things, the RS3M 2020 is going to be a better bet. The dual adjustment system gives you a lot more choices when it comes to changing stuff on your cube. Both cubes are great out of the box, but the added elasticity adjustment on the RS3M 2020 is a great luxury. Last is your preference for feel. If you like a softer feel, definitely go for the RS3M 2020. If you prefer clicky and crispy, choose the Qi MS. We hope these points can help you figure out which cube you may like more. The beauty of budget cubes is they are designed to be cost effective. They're super easy to get and sample because they're just so cheap. Worst case, you will end up with a decent cube you can throw in your backpack and bring around. Which cube do you think you like more? If you have them already, feel free to comment your own thoughts. We hope this video was helpful. As always, thanks for watching and see you later.